I want to talk about someone called Terence K. Williams. Who is Terence K. Williams? Well, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the best introduction that I can to the kind of person that Terence K. Williams is. Now, I actually did a video about this video before. Okay. But for the purposes of this segment, I want to show you the intro again. Just prepare yourselves, okay? Hey, it's Terrence here, and I'm here in quarantine, just like you. It has been so hard, but I ended up cracking. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie. I cracked. Ended up inviting somebody over here. Uh, I know uh, it's not. I know it's not obvious. But, well, first of all, he's supposed to be a comedian, okay? He's supposed to be a comedian. The second point is this is called the deplor deplorable Saturday night. So it's like the rightoid equivalent of Saturday Night Live. Well, it was supposed to be. They only did one episode of it, and that was it. My girl, uh, Nancy Speaker Pelosi with me. Nancy, you not, so you not going to say nothing to the people, Nancy? So you want to act shy now? You, you too mean you don't never be talking. You always talking. Come on, come on. But anyways, we uh, uh, not gonna argue with you, Nancy. You are not gonna. Argue. We got a lot to talk about. But before I, you know, I'm from the south, so I'm a, a, a hospital, southern hospitality. Well, I got some ice cream here. I got some wine. Like what? What, what you want? You know, wine, Nancy. I, you can't have your normal nine glasses. You can't have your normal nine because you're not going to be over here sloppy drunk and then screaming me too or something. <laughs> Good Lord, no, I ain't going to touch you. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, so we're we going to do the one glass and that's it. But 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 Nancy, before I give you this drink, I re we got to talk about something. Why are you always hating on President Trump? Why? Do, do you need to see any more? Is that enough of an introduction for you? Is that enough of an intro, or do I need to show you more? Don't, don't tell me it was that he won thing. If you want me to stop, say stop. <laughs> don't because that's 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 just childish. <laughs> so, turn, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. As I said, as we've gone over, Terence Williams is allegedly a comedian. Okay. Now, I'm going to be real with you. His actual comedy, I don't really find to be particularly funny. If I'm being 100% brutally honest, I don't particularly find his routines to be particularly funny, okay? As we just saw just there. And like I say, there's that video you can watch if you want to see me covering this video. Do you know what I do find funny though? Do you know what I do find funny? It's his meltdown. I've got a few links here that we can have a look at, okay? Got a few links here for us to mull over. So, first of all, let's watch this. So, you'll notice the date here, November 2nd, 2020. It would be a shame if this hashtag was used 50,000 times and made it to the top of Twitter. Hashtag Trump 2020 landslide victory. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get uh, content ID'd on that, but you get the idea. He's just like this is like this is like NPC. This is like this is like NPC level shit here, right? This is like a broken robot. Twitter trending will bend reality. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, you get the idea, okay? You get the gist of it. What's up next? Here we go. So, what did he say here? Oh. Look how happy! Look how happy he looks! Look how happy he looks! This is crazy. I can't make it to the line to vote because so many people keep coming up to me, telling me how much they love me and how they love President Donald Trump even more. Red wave is coming. Go vote. <laughs> Pictures taken immediately before disaster. That's what this video is. Let's watch it. Okay. 
Hey everybody, so I am out here in Texas. <clears throat> I am about to cast my vote for President Donald J. Trump. Y'all already know what day it is. Today is the day that you need to get out there and go vote. Today is a very, very important day, okay? We will win, but we all have to get out there and vote. And let me tell y'all something here, okay? What I am seeing out here is amazing. People keep coming up to me. I mean, there are so many Trump supporters that are out here ready to cast their vote for President Donald J. Trump. People get out there and go vote. Today is going to be an amazing day because today is the day that we will re-elect this president. Let's do it for the country. Let's do it for the future of America. Four more years means four more years of keeping America great. Hey everybody, so I am oh. out here in Texas. His voice is like his girlfriend is being fucked in front of him. <laughs> so anyway, look at that. Look, that's the that's the image there. Look at the look at the joy. Look at the pleasure. So happy. So so hopeful. Full of hope. Full of hope. What's next? Here we go. This is him this is him conducting the vote. This is him just conducting the vote. Okay. Let's watch this. Ooh! There it is. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that again. That's another image. That's another picture taken before disaster image. Okay. There we go. And then, hmm. Ooh. Then this, then this tweet. Your daddy Trump just won Florida. Now cry, liberals. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> hmm. Can anyone see a pattern emerging here? Can anyone track what might happen next? <laughs> because unfortunately, it ain't the liberals that are crying today, buddy. It ain't the liberals. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is when the cope begins. It starts off quite gen gently. Please tell me why Joe Biden is acting like he won. I'm so sick of him and his supporters honking those stupid horns. Who's with me? The polls said he would win Texas and Florida. That was a lie. So we're not quite a full cope yet, but we're getting there. Yeah? He's taken the first few huffs of it. He's taken the first few huffs of cope. Hey, John, you're the gov, yeah, I, I, the whole team, man. You've done a great job. I'm grateful to the poll workers, to our volunteers, our canvassers, everyone who participated in this democratic process. And I'm grateful to all of my supporters here in Delaware and all across the nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And folks, you heard me say it before. Every time I walk out of my grandpa's house up in Scranton, he'd yell, Joey, keep the- Joe, Joey, Joey. If you don't stop with these damn horns, Duncan, I'm so sick of that shit. I'm so sick of these horns. And why are you acting like you won? You haven't won yet. And you're not going to win. Tonight has been a long night. Tonight has been full of nothing but crap. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't do this no more. I can't do this no oh, more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh my goodness. And then it goes on. And then it continues. <laughs> then it continues. And then it continues. So this is from November 6th. We're a few days on, okay? We're a few days on. <laughs> Trump meltdown by President Trump was telling the world the truth about this corrupt election. Vote for all is happening right in front of our eyes. All those involved need to go to jail right in front of our eyes. We will win. 
Okay, let's see what he's got. It's a bit of a longer video, okay? Can somebody tell me where in the hell is the GOP? Where are they yet? <laughs> where is the House and the Senate Republicans? Why are they not helping President Trump? I'm confused. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, no. Because President Trump endorsed half of those people. And pr President Trump rallied for those people. Where oh. the hell are they at? <laughs> GOP, I need you. This is my darkest hour. Answer my call for aid. Light, light, light the fires of Gondor, or whatever it's called. Someone light the fires of Gondor, light the fires of the GOP. President Trump supported the House <laughs> and the Senate Republicans. He's the reason why some of them got reelected. Now, where are they at? They need to help him get reelected. These Democrats are trying to steal this damn election. From the American people. They are corrupt. They are stealing. Where is the Republicans at? Where is the GOP? If oh, they want it's hard to watch. Next funny. time, they better step up for President Trump. If you want support from us, you better step up for, for President Trump. This don't make no sense. <laughs> well, you, you know, you know, th this 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 whole thing, it, it's is I I feel like it perfectly plots out the journey of you could watch this and it plots out the journey of like every trump supporter so far right so you've got the the smug hubris to begin with yeah and then you've got the initial kind of gloating about florida and then you've got the realization that oh hang on a second there's there's talk about biden you know it's not it's look at biden it's the worm starting to turn for biden oh, i don't know about this and then it continues on and then you get angry with the Republicans for not doing enough to apparently push back against this. And then we'll see what happens from there. But I don't know. I think it's a perfect, a perfect plot of like the MAGA cope trail. I ask one more time. Where is the GOP at when Trump needs them? Trump has been there for them. Trump has endorsed the House and the Senate Republicans. He is, he is the reason why most of them got reelected. Now, where are they at? when he need them the most. President Trump has fought for all of us. He has fought for me. He has fought for you. He fought for the House. He fought for the Senate Republicans. Where in the hell are they at? Why are they letting these Democrats do this? I'm so sick of these damn rhinos. They need to step up and do something. They always let these Democrats run us over. This don't make no sense. This is not right. This oh. is not fair. This is not the America that I know. I'm pissed off with the GOP. I'm about done with half of them. After this, oh, no. I don't know if I'm going to support half of those senators. I don't know if I'm going to support all of those Republicans in the House. I don't know. If they can't support Trump, then I can't support them. And that's straight up. And that's just how it's going to be. I can't get down with those people if they can't step up and, and, and defend President Trump and defend America. President Trump is, is, is trying to save this country. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm just pissed off with the GOP. I'm pissed off with them. I'm so pissed off. We got them reelected. We got these people back in office. We had their back. We helped them raise money. President Trump helped those people raise money. He helped them out, and they ain't nowhere to be found. The GOP can kiss my black ass. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. The Democrats can kiss my black ass, too. we both sides. Oh, I love it. I'll be honest. Listen. I'm going to be honest, okay? I'm going to be real with you. I'm I do take a great amount of joy in seeing these people go go through this. Okay? I I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm only human, all right? It is hilarious to me. It is hilarious to me how like unhinged these people are. Anyway, there's one more. There's one more video to watch, okay? Joe Biden is not the winner. 
It's not over, silly rabbits. President Donald Trump and his team have found evidence of voter fraud. <clears throat> this will be overturned in the courts and there will be recounts and audits. Don't celebrate Biden Harris so quickly. President elect Joe is fake news. Yeah, he's bargaining. He's bargaining. He's bargaining. He is bargaining. He's bargaining. It's so good. Oh, y'all don't get it. Y'all just don't get it, do y'all? <laughs> it's so cute. Y'all hey. so silly. I lurk here a lot. This stream is so good, and the cope is making me creegasm. Oh, hey. Thanks a lot. Listen, you, everyone that watched my stream knows I love the lurkers, okay? I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the feedback. And I hope you continue to stick around and enjoy the stream. Silly. Y'all so silly listening to the media. Y'all really believe CNN? Y'all really believe fake news CNN and fake news Fox News? Oh, he's desperate. The media don't Desperation. Get to decide who the president elect is. The media don't get to certify who the president elect is. This is not over. Oh, y'all so silly. <laughs> it's cute. Y'all thought it was over. <laughs> That's so oh cute. Oh my God. Y'all thought, oh, y'all really thought this was over. So this is what the media is not telling you dummies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I criticize his comedy. This is his, this is his best work. This is his best work. He's not even trying to be funny. And he's absolutely hilarious. He should just rage out more often. So dumb. So this is what the media is not telling you, okay? The media is not telling you that the president, that President Trump has figured out that they have been fraudulent in this election, which y'all don't, see, this is what the media is not telling y'all, okay? <laughs> the media is not telling y'all that there has been a lot of voter fraud going on and that, guess what? We have a lot of evidence. President Trump has oh, a lot of no, evidence. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, and he got the biggest no, he doesn't. and baddest legal team. I mean, they are so good. No, he doesn't. Uh-oh, he doesn't. There isn't any evidence. Because there isn't voter fraud. It's a myth. It's fantasy. It's fantasy bullshit that they desperately cling to as they watch their orange man gasp his last pathetic breath like he did when he had COVID. But you know what? <laughs> Y'all wouldn't know that because you listen to the fake news. And you don't go out there and seek the truth for yourself. I mean, the truth can slap you right in the face and you wouldn't know it did. I mean, you, you, you gotta you, you, you gotta do your research, people. So this is gonna be held up in courts and President Trump will still be your president for four more years. Oh, so uh, God. I, if I were y'all, I wouldn't be celebrating so early. <laughs> don't do it to yourself. Don't hurt yourself like that. Yeah, because getting yourself all happy is like self-abuse, knowing that President Trump is going to win in the end. So don't do that to yourself. It's not good for your health. Yeah, we got this. Don't even worry about it, everybody. President Trump will win. Joe Biden is not the real winner at all. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we've got... Uh... Let's have a look. Denial, anger, bargaining. And next up, there's going to be a great depression <laughs> before finally acceptance. There's going to be a great. There's going to be a great depression of MAGA cope. <laughs> No, it's not satire. It's not satire. That is a genuine human being who is gutted that Trump has lost the election. And he's doing everything within his power to desperately cling on to the idea that maybe somehow this is this is the here's how Trump can still win meme. This is the this is the how this is how Bernie can still win meme, but for for Maggers. So yeah, there we go. Um, we're currently currently at bargaining. We're going to see a great depression of MAGA cope at some point. Probably as we see the mechanisms turn and we see that actually Trump has lost. And then finally when he leaves office, as we say, it will probably be the acceptance. That'll be that. Anyway, like I say, 
I just feel that that is a quite a uh, you know quite a good little microcosm to demonstrate the stages so far. <laughs> there we go. But you know, I've heard people say like, "Oh, these people are screwed." <laughs> yes. <laughs> except and except. 